Hello! So, I recently ordered what claims to be the biggest squishy in the world off of eBay. And it is handmade, which I also thought was cool. Like, I really like handmade squishies. And I knew that it wasn't going to be the prettiest thing, but I was like, you know what? I can deco this. I can fix it up. And it's going to be real nice. And the person originally wanted $20 for it and then 50 cents to ship, which I thought was pretty expensive, especially seeing as how it's a homemade squishy. Um, but I thought it was really intriguing because it claims to be the biggest squishy in the world. It's handmade. So um, I offered the seller $15, which they declined. And I waited probably a month and I thought about it again and I was like well, I'm gonna go on there and see if they still have it on there so it was still for sale and I offered them $17 they came back and offered $18 which I was like okay whatever so $18 and 50 cents for a really unique squishy and it's supposed to be the biggest squishy in the world right in the pictures um, it shows it compared to a man's hand and it looks huge so I was super excited so when I got home this was on my porch and I thought well maybe I ordered something else and don't remember um, because this certainly does not look like it would fit the biggest squishy in the world um, so I opened it because I'm like well maybe it really isn't the squishy maybe it's something else and I just don't remember ordering it I don't know I opened it up First of all, it's really, really light too. Like the box feels like there's literally nothing in it. I open it up. And see this. You know, I'll insert a picture of what it was supposed to look like. Like I knew it was not very cute, but like I said, I thought that I could paint it and make it look better. They say that it's an eggplant. Um, so first of all, there's rips all in it, which I guess is supposed to simulate, um, an eggplant or maybe a kid or something, animal got to it and chewed it up. Anyways, <clears throat> thinking that it was homemade, I'm thinking these people used like a, a form or something to make it. Um, it's really, really light. Not very squishy. I mean, it's squishy, but it's uh, it's more stress ball material. Like it's not not like eye bloom or anything like that. Okay, and then if you look at the top here, there's like a bunch of metal going through it, and they have like rubber. Actually, <laughs> it's a hair tie. They <laughs> they used a hair tie to tie it off and make it kind of resemble an eggplant I guess you know um, and then I start looking at it and I'm like this looks really familiar <sighs> it is I don't know if you guys have ever seen those memory foam neck rolls I mean you can clearly tell that that's what this is and it's just been cut in half and being sold as a homemade I mean, I guess you could say it's a homemade squishy, but I just, very disappointed. Um, I mean, first of all, don't act like you made it from scratch. That's the first thing. Say you cut a neck roll in half, because that's really what it was. And I'm kind of irritated because I spent almost $20 on this, and I literally can go to Walmart and buy one of those neck rolls for $5 and do this myself. Um, I guess, you know, it's pretty comfy for a neck roll. Biggest squishy in the world? It is not. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever. I guess I got a unique squishy. Um, and I will do like a few things to fix it up. Like I'll definitely be painting this one myself, trying to make it look at least a little bit more decent. Um, but yeah, I guess that's just a case of, you know, buyer beware because you never really know what you're going to get. But yeah, on another note, I did get a Eye Bloom knockoff squishy that is 
real squishy and nice. It doesn't really smell like much, but it's awesome. And I think this was like four dollars. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> God, shoot. Be careful what you're buying because, I mean, I was thinking that this thing was going to be about, let me scooch back here, about yay big from what it looked like in the picture. Like it showed it compared to a guy's hand and it looked huge. And I don't know, you know, I guess it's cute for what it is. It was, definitely was not worth $18.50. Um, had I known it was made out of a neck roll, I would have never bought it. <laughs> Anyways, that's the first time I've ever gotten a squishy that I feel like I got ripped off and was really, really disappointed in. But, you know, you live, you learn. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!